All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Crystal Star by Vonda McIntyre, part of the massive 100-volume Star Wars Legends book series. You know, if you've followed my channel for any length of time, I read and review these quite a bit. We'll eventually read all 100 and review all 100. But this is sort of my guilty pleasure series that I read a lot. I bought all of these books, you know, when they came out and read them. I have not read them since. So this is a reread for me. And I don't remember much of any of the things that happened in these books, other than I loved them. And my reread, I like them even more. Now, this one came out in 1994. It's the sequel to The Planet of Twilight, which I um, reviewed yesterday on the channel. And uh, let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. Just like The Planet of Twilight and most of the early Star Wars Legends novels that were written in the 90s, the um, Crystal Star has a great illustration by the great illustrator, Drew Struzan. I wish all the Star Wars Legends novels were illustrated by this guy because they're just absolutely fantastic. This one came out in 1994. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, <clears throat> starts off with a bang. I mean, right from the get-go. I mean, we're thrust right into the middle of the action where Princess Leia and Han Solo's children... Jason, Jayana, and Anakin are being kidnapped. In fact, there was a big kidnapping. <clears throat> Princess Leia got kidnapped in this book. Now, her children are being kidnapped in this book. In fact, there's a lot of kidnappings that go on in the Star Wars Legends universe. I'm just saying. Still, better than all the recent movies they've made despite every plot revolving around a kidnapping. But anyway, I digress. So, these three children are kidnapped by sort of a cult leader figure that we learn later. Um, Chewbacca is trying to defend the kids from being kidnapped. He is severely, severely injured. Leah is frantic to get her kids to find out. I mean, she barely misses saving them there off and away in the starship and who to who knows where. And so we get this adventure of Leia trying to find her lost, kidnapped children. And just like the planet of Twilight, <clears throat> one of the things about this book is a lot of our main characters don't interact a lot. They're all off on their own adventures. Leia starts out with this quest to go save her children. Now her children, we get the perspective of both the kidnappers and the three kidnapped children, which is interesting. Um, we get to see how these young kids try to foil the efforts of their kidnappers as best they can, and how the kidnappers are just kind of creepy. Um, of course, it's it's um, <coughs> you know um, the kidnappers immediately suspect that the youngest child, three-year-old Anakin, has Jedi powers. So this ramps up the stakes of the kidnapping quite a bit. Now, that's Leia's, that's Leia's storyline. That's the three kidnapped children's storyline. We don't get much of Chewbacca because he's injured and he's just in a hospital the whole time. Now, Luke, Han, and C-3PO, they are cut off from all knowledge of this, mostly, because they... Um, were off on another adventure. Um, that's one of the reasons they weren't around to help stop the kidnapping is they were already off on an adventure of their own. and But they were immediately cut off from Leia and the kidnapping and everything because of a death. The death of a nearby star that sort of fucked up everything. Um, you know, it's just like they can't... It's just, you know, in a, it's just bad. The star is dying, 
It's bad. They can't communicate. They were off investigating the report of a lost group of Jedi, and we know that Luke wants to find the Jedi in the universe in these books. And um, they kind of run across a, um, a guy named Waru, W-A-R-U, I think it is, who's a mir miraculous... He's got miraculous healing powers, but he's also kind of a cult leader. So that's kind of like, that's the adventure there. And, and then, of course, the kidnappers, the young kids that are kidnapped, Leia, Luke, Han, and 3PO, they all kind of converge at the end. And, and, then, and then the story's good. I, I liked this one quite a bit, too. I was really into it. I'm going to give this one, same as I gave this one an 8.5, I'm going to give this one an 8.5, too. I think they go well together. Uh, this one, though this one was written in 97, and this one 94, you should actually read this one first and then this one. But anyway, that's that.